What's up guys, welcome back, I'm Pope John Paul, and you have what you asked for, we have a Trebizond campaign. Uh, most people voted for this in the poll, so that's what we have. We are going to try and restore the Roman Empire, so we're going to try and take, um, obviously, Constantinople. I've seen a lot of people restoring the Roman Empire as Nicaea, um, but I haven't seen anyone try and do it as Trebizond yet, and I want to I want to give it a go, see if it's possible. Um, this may end in failure, um, or it may end in success. We don't. I do not know. Um, so the plan is first to do a lot of diplomacy, get some good deals done. Um, oh no! I would like a marriage. You can marry my. Uh, I have an heir of mine that can marry, so we'll get you to marry him. Low. Ah, oh, I would want that to be. Moderate, there we go. Thank you, take that. Um, we'll get the Tsardom of Bulgaria. Will you do anything with us? No. <laughs> I have a feeling this could be the case. I feel like Trebizond's not liked by a lot of people. Um, In the name of the state, welcome. Let's see, can we get any deals with Genoa? You on no, it would seem not. Uh, oh, unless we've already got trade with them. I think we might already have trade with them. No, we don't. Don't have trade with anyone. Um, the Kipchaks. Can we get trade with them? No. <laughs> oh dear, it's not looking good, like a good start. Um, Nicaea, can Welcome, we make peace? But no. Rome, can we make peace? You have my attention. No. Right. Well, we're going to have to just deal with what we have then. So we're probably going to build a... Um, oh, I could build... I don't really want to build that. Um, that's going to just damage my food consumption. I would like to put in what's the food like like here? 25. Could put in a cattle herd and a large city into Sinope. Um Kaffa, I'm gonna put in a meat market. To help with uh the public order here a little bit. Also it gives us more in wealth. I will go straight for windmill. Help us with uh, our income for just generally everything. Uh, and then I'm going to recruit some... I think I'm going to recruit some spears. Maybe some... Oh, maybe these swords. These swords are pretty good. We'll get two, two units of swords. I can afford that. Um, and then we will end the turn. I think we'll end the turn there. I'd really like to go find Kyra first, I think. Try and take out their... Capital. I think that's our capital. I'm not sure. We may have to play on the defensive a little bit. Surround ourselves. Or we can put some assigned some provincial governors. That's fine. We'll do that. You can go into Trebizond. Um, I'll put Philippos. Oh, you're a taskmaster. You'd be kind of handy elsewhere. Defender. Put you in to Kaffa. Why not? Um, I guess we put you into Snoopy. It's a shame. I didn't really want to have to do that. You're kind of handy for as a general. Um... Trebizond, just have growth. All of you have growth. Because I need to grow to expand these king these cities so I can get more money in. More riches. So we will do that first. So the plan is I think first to go after the Seljuks, try and expand there. Um, and use that for um Use that for basically a, a stop of point to then go and push on to take out. Um, In this oh, yes. Darkness. Is that high? Yeah, well, I want some money out of you. Can I get 600? Oh, we'll take trade. Well, we'll take trade from you. Uh, military alliance. Yeah, okay. We'll take a military alliance, I guess. That was very straight up from them. Kingdom of Jerusalem and... Uh, the Yubis are at war straight away, wow. And the Kipchaks are at war with the Mongols. We've done all these settled tribes. Um, Alania wants... I didn't actually check. I should have got Alania a non-aggression pact. Um, because you're... That's high. So 600? No. Well, can I take 300 from you? 300? Yeah. Right, so we'll do that. Um, what else can we do? Oh, we can hire some... We can get mercenaries now. Excellent. So we're going to hire those Georgian swords out straight away. Um, 
I could always hire more mercenaries and then disband them, but don't know if I really want to do that. Um, I may just need to wait until the Selkirks go to war with someone else. Like Silesia down here, which I still can't see. Um, I always to be no, I didn't think you would. Um, sh the Shervan Shardum Greetings, can't get anything else. Can I ask you to join a war? Join war against the Seljuks. No, but can I get George to join a war against the Seljuks? No, I didn't think you would. Um, I can now see a lot more people all of a sudden, so we I'm going to try and get trade welcome. with them. Why would you not want trade? It's just free money. Be most welcome. Um, hi. Well, I'd like to pay, orders. get some payment out of you. Still high. I know this is a. These guys are a vassal of the Latin Kingdom, but I need the money just for now. Okay. Yep. Yeah, that's fine. Um, Genoa. I think I already we tried to do this with them. Welcome. Um, no one else would really want. I could try and use the Latin Empire as a ally for now, and, and then betray them. That could always be a method. Could be something that we could uh, could do. Um, I really need a spy so I can go and just hunt around and have a look and see what they've got. I could make this a 20 stack army, put some cheap militia in there. I don't really feel like doing that. I'm just going to end the turn, I think. And then I might march the army from Trebizond to um, Snope and then on to Ankyra. I'll see. That is some sort of a plan I can do. So I hope you guys are enjoying the Let's Play. I know we've not done a lot as of yet, but um, I hope you're happy with the decision on the faction. There will be other campaigns going on, so there will be plenty of time to play as other factions as well. Um, and uh, I just fancy doing this one. It's different um, to what other people have done. And it's a little bit more of a challenge. Playing as Trebizond, it's going to be a long road, I have a feeling. We're going to be probably on the defensive for quite a bit of it. But we uh, will will persevere. So, I think we've got these uh, troops here. We've got the Blades of Mercy. I may... What's Kaffir's situation? It's not looking too not looking too strong. Put it like that. Um, at least Orthodox is uh, going up. But it's going up ever so slightly. Um, Trevizond, you're growing, but not growing quick enough. Snope is growing as well. Or I don't know how you say it. But um, I could go for Matalea with that army, but I don't know if I really want to. Um, it's always an option. Always an option, I guess. Yeah, let's do it. Let's try and go for Matalea. The Blades of Mercy. Riding out for Matalea. Or Malatya. Malatya, is isn't it? It's not Matalea. Um, so we'll put them there. It's going to take a turn. Then we can siege them out. Um, I think I could probably siege them out with what I have. It's Trebizond's hating me now, though. It really is. It's just not like the lack of food that there is here. Copper veins I would get rid of, but then we would be in the minuses for money. So I can't actually afford to do that. I may get a trade agreement with good name these welcome. guys for now. Speak in it's not obviously the, the greatest bit of advice. Um, well, greatest move. But right now I've got enemies around me that are a bigger problem. So we'll deal with that. That's helped my economy out a slight bit. Um, and then we can go after Nicaea in a little bit. So we'll end the turn. And we shall try to deal with Malatya. In the next turn and try and take that for ourselves. I could even recruit some more units for like mercenaries if I wanted to, but that's I don't know, it's tempting, but it's not really my first choice. It looks like the Latin Empire's doing stuff. So the Kipchaks are trespassing through my lands. It's fine, I don't mind them doing it. They got look how far they gotta to travel to that random settlement up there it's so far. So I don't mind, they can do it. It's not the end of the world. Wariness has increased. Yep, not surprised. Venice has declared war on Nicaea. Okay. I'm going to siege down Malatya. And then 
we're going to construct a ladder. Construct some ladders, please. Um, how many turns is that going to take to fall? Nine. Hmm. Um, I can't really do much else. I can't. I, meh. Yeah, nothing really there that was going to work for me. We're only on ten food a turn now. That's not so. That's not so healthy. Um. I could put in. What could I put in here? Fishing docks. I could do that, but that's definitely going to hurt my uh, public order in Kaffa, which is already pretty appalling. Unhappy population growth and tax rate is going down. Uh, right, so we need to sort that out. I really need to have just maybe an army, a small army based here in Kaffa, because that's just going to be really hard to hold on to. Hmm. That is the difficulty of that region. It's just very hard to hold. But we'll see. I think we can possibly... I don't know what's our... Um, oh, let's try and... Let's make this guy a... Whatever that is. A Kefali? Kefali? I don't know. Control. Uh, I'd like... Um, to... Let's see. Imperium Insignificant. Well, I think we're very close to becoming noteworthy. So if we can do that, that would be great. Um, that actually would be pretty useful. Um... Yeah, that's pretty even. I might need to recruit. I might need to recruit some mercenaries when the time comes to win. Actually, there are no mercenaries here. That's not so good. Um, I'm going to. Hmm. I'm going to move this army out, but over to here. Put it into Trebizond. I'm going to take a little hit from Snoke, but I'm going to see if I can lure out any Seljuk armies to try and then swoop in and take them out with the garrison and my army. Um, see that whether that works, or if not, then I can always send. If I don't get a, what any Seljuk armies appearing, I can then go onto Malatya and attack them there. I'm gonna end the turn, see what happens, or if it's too big an army, I'll have to break the siege of Malatya and uh, retreat back to uh, Sinope, which is okay. We can do that. I don't mind doing that. Um, we, like I said, it will be a defensive start. Here we go, as expected. And our, oh, two armies have appeared. Oh god, um, we're gonna have to retreat there then. Right, so the two armies are just based there. I could carry on the siege of Malatya, but I'm kind of tempted to pull back and uh, maybe fight these two guy, these two armies. An interesting move. I did I did lure out some uh, armies, but maybe one too many armies. They have two pretty sizable armies here that I'm uh, not really sure what I'm going to do to deal with these guys. God, they're actually pretty strong. I'm going to retreat to Trebizond. Hmm, actually, I don't know if I should have done that. Uh, might keep the... Oh, I don't know. That was a bad move, actually. I should have possibly moved on to try and help at Malatya. I guess they could fall out. Um, Malatya. Regroup. Uh, yes, regroup is certainly one word I put. I'm going to move past it and try and... Oh, I can't. Bugger. Um, I'm going to pull back to Trebizond. With this army. I would have liked to have taken Malatya, but I don't think I would have then held it. It's just... I've got to... And if they go and take Sinope, that's fine. They can... Well, not take it, but besiege it. That's fine, because I can then go and just attack them with both these armies. Um, Trebizond. Right, you're still not happy, and you've still not got great food. We could improve your food state by a little bit. But that's not necessarily going to be actually the best thing for us. That's going to lower your tax. Do we have any other people that we could get on our side? 
like allegiance wise. Find me a willing and attentive audience for your speech. Yep, that's that works. A non aggression pact with you. Hopefully that'll increase so we can start getting money out of you. Um Alania, can we do anything here? You honor us. Defensive Alliance, moderate. No, I didn't think that would be the case. Um, you bids. Actually, I don't really want to deal with you. Um, so okay, we've got some things we can do. Let's just put all of them in there for you because you need public order and you need public order. And I would like, um, actually more public order. <laughs> Lots of public order, please. Help that out. Okay, so they have 17 and a 15. I have 17 and a 14. Plus I would have a lot of guys in here. So I think it's winnable. Just need to uh, find a way to win it. See what the Seljuks do this time. I think they may attack Sinope. Which is going to be unfortunate if they do. No, they're going to probably attack this army here. No, they're going to besiege. Interesting. This army's. That army's going to attack me there, though. Uh, right, you can pull back. And then. Okay, he's drawn away. Excellent. Ah, perfect. Right, we can take out this army. Or that army. Now that they're separated. Perfect. So we can make a... Have a crushing defeat on the Seljuks here, hopefully. Perfect. So we may get a battle, guys, in the first episode. That'll be brilliant. Um, I'm sure you guys are ready. Oh, we don't care about the Crusades. The Crusades are not even at our involvement now. That's, uh... That's a Catholic thing. We're Orthodox. We don't do we don't do Crusades. So now, now with that uh, little maneuver to pull back, which is perfect, I would have expected that on Force March I would have had to be ambushed, but apparently not. Apparently I could just walk out of that ambush. Um, but perfect anyway for us. We can now press on, destroy one army, then we have two armies over them. Yes, this is very interesting, but it's not needed. Oh, okay. The Jerusalem made an offensive and. Either realise there's so many armies here and they should definitely retreat, or they've, uh, I don't know, they've done something. Oh, it looks like someone's at war with the, uh, someone else is at war with the Seljuks. Thank you, I don't really care though. Carry on. I want to see who's at war with the Seljuks down here. Who did this? Someone that, someone is at war with the Seljuks. Who is it? Oh, it's Seljuk pretenders. Oh. Right, let's see. Who would we rather take out? Which army is going to be more of a problem in later? This one is certainly going to be... Well, it's a larger army. So if we take out the larger army here, let's just move you within range. And then let's kill you off. Um, right, perfect. Let's just put you here. And then we'll attack with the main army again. Perfect. Wow, this is... I might just auto-resolve this. This is apparently going to be, like, devastating. So I might just... Apparently that's... I would have fought that, guys, but that's just... Those odds. 377 we lost. I would have certainly lost more. Certainly with it being horse archers. Um, so we're going to pull back to Trebizond. And then we're going to send in the other army. They've just lost an entire set. Can I actually attack this one? I could. I could send... send certainly chase it off. Perfect. Right, could we... No, we couldn't reach. I don't want to overreach, so we will... We will stick to that. I'll keep the two armies together. Uh, we will put armor in for you. You can have integrity and authority. You can have... Alexios. You can have some integrity and you can have some zeal. There we go. Right, perfect. Well, we've destroyed one of the Seljuk armies. We can now certainly be pushing onto Ma Malatya. Uh, I'm going to do trade rights. That'll be handy. I will end the turn. No, I won't because David needs some stuff. So David can have authority. And he can also have more authority. Um, so he's now... We're now nullified Trebizond's like decrease in uh, 
in popularity. Snowpea's still not happy. Kaffir does not like us either. So I may need to keep one army here while one campaigns to go and take out any rebellions. I'm probably going to send the walkers of the way um, to war with the Seljuks. I may try and destroy this army with two armies again. Make it very, just very straightforward. We'll see. Oh, okay. Well, there's been a noble birth, which I didn't get notified about earlier, but just did then. Interesting. Um, actually, if Malatya is being sieged by the Seljuk pretenders, then I should go for Ankyra. That would be the more of the the app choice to go for. I don't like what the Kipchaks are doing, but I mean, at least they're not trespassing over my land anymore. Nicaea? Okay, no. Malatya has had its siege relieved, so it would still be the option to go for. You want me to go to war with these guys? Eh, sure, I'm not really going to have any problems with them as of yet, I don't think. Um, hopefully not anyway. I really don't want to have to. Georgia, you better start mobilizing some armies down there. There's been a famine. Not so good. Um, going to have to build a cow shed. Um, to sort that out. Um, we could... Besiege Malatya. Yeah, I'm going to, I think, with both the armies. And we then we can destroy their final their final uh, army, really. We take this settlement indeed. There is going to be a rebellion in Kaffir, apparently. Um, I don't know what the garrison's like there. It's okay. Um, it could hold for a bit. That's now, I think in our, I'd say in our favour, but I wouldn't be 100% sure. Trebizond, can you build any food stuff? No. Um, Sinope is going to be our own reliance on food then. Um, and then I can't really build anything else that's going to damage our food currently. I need to really get Malatya to put more food in there. So, and then also possibly convert it because it looks like it's very much uh, Islamic at the moment. Okay, so we'll end the turn, and we will take Malat Malatya next turn. I'm really struggling with saying that name, actually. I don't know why. I've had two episodes now to try and say it. <laughs> well, not two episodes. Two uh, Let's Plays to say it, because Jerusalem, it was... We saw this often. Um, but <laughs> who knows? It's a very strange one. Um, you want a defensive alliance, and you'll give me money. I Defensive alliance is one too many. I'm sorry. I was fine with the others because that was that was if I break them, it's my own fault and it's not too damaging. But uh, defensive alliance is certainly a different different kettle of fish. Looks like Trebe oh Trebizond's just going to attack me, so that's fine. <laughs> well, the Trebizond uh, pretenders—they're just going to attack me. Interesting. Well, I'll cut them down, and uh, I think that sorts out any. Uh, rebellion problems I have there. So that could be just one we have to constantly do with Kaffir. Just let it rebel. Faction destroyed, yep. Yeah. Mongol invasion. we still got a famine. So that's not so good. Um, let's just force put you on normal march. Um, and we will assault. I Again, I don't like doing siege battles. So that's why I'm going to auto-resolve. I will try and get in as many battles as I can in this Let's Play. Um, obviously for you guys, because you guys want to see them. Um, and as as do I, I want to see what our guys look like. See what uh, we have to deal with. Right. Uh, I will destroy that, uh, and I'll repair that, because I kind of want to put in a uh, in a temple, because that's also a an aim of ours. 56. Wow. Um, this should help it out a bit, but it's going to take a little bit of time. That should also help it out a bit, but we're also going to convert it then to a different one. What's this doing? This is doing Integrity for All Forces Replenishment, which I doubt is really happening. It is happening a little bit, but not massively. Um, it's kind of all we can do. I could convert this, but this is really hel helping on a public order. Yeah, it's also gone down to... Hmm. I don't know. Maybe that should be converted. Maybe. Because, I mean, it's not really helping with public order, it's, but it's helping with growth. Yeah, I might leave it then. I might leave it because it's actually helping with growth. We can sort out our food problems in the next couple of turns anyway with 
uh, these. So, but we have expanded, which is the main thing. I'm going to end the turn. Oh, we can still assign a provincial governor. Well, good for him. He, politician, no. I'd rather have administrator. There we go. Right, and then an issue I'd like to put. Can I? Is there one for food? I doubt there is. Really doubt there is. Uh, no, but I can increase tax rate if I wanted to. Um, we'll put growth in again because I would mm, actually would I rather have in um, my like public order. Mm, no, I'm okay with that. Just do that. I'd right. I'd like to try and grow Christian. Uh, not Christianity. Um, orthodoxy is kind of like pretty major here. I think we could convert it to the main, the main uh, religion, and it looks like we've gone to. The next level, so noteworthy, so we can get more armies now, so that'll be perfect. I could afford to put some more armies in, maybe just to garrison, like, Kaffa, if it needs needed doing. Or Sinope. But I could really do with, uh, some... Just some, um, some food right now. My people are going hungry. Um, uh, which is not good. But we'll sort that out in the next couple of turns. Uh, the soldier pretenders, they're just going to go on and make themselves a nuisance. Perfect. Uh, still got a famine, but it's down to 20. And I'm now going to convert this to a either a pigsty or a castle herd. I think a cow herd. Actually, did pigsty give me more money? Yes, it... Actually, no, that does give me more money. Does a cattle herd, right. So, and then I'm going to destroy this and I'm going to put in a I'll put in a fort here just so because that's probably the one I'd rather have in the most um, I can move this army on the walkers of the way I probably am going to move it on to here I'll move it onto there actually so it's still getting uh, some sort of replenishment actually it's really not it's just not <laughs> Um, and we can't afford any troops. I don't know if I really would want any troops anyway. Um, actually, my economy is pretty good. I could take the troops. It's just that I don't really have any uh, any food. But one more turn and we sort the food problem out. So, again, I'm going to end the turn uh, for you guys. We'll sort out the food problem. We'll then set uh, our siege lines at either Kaiseri or Ankyra. Um, because they have no armies, so it's perfect time to strike. I know uh, our armies are slightly beat up, but we can uh, rekindle the wound. Uh, rekindle. We can. I don't know what was I even trying to say. I don't even know what I was trying to say. We can bandage the wounds. Oh, that's that works. Bandage the wounds once uh, the war's over. God, I'm having a mare there. Um, and that's very Yorkshire of me coming out. Uh, Gosh, I'm. I do apologize. But anyway, let's see what happens in this this turn. More attrition. Yep, Trezebon's gonna rebel. Interesting. A worthy bride, Andronicus. Uh, I could intervene. I'm going to intervene. I don't really want you to be doing that. So food is then okay. They are siege being besieged there at Kaisera. I'm going to take Ankyra. Uh, I think, yeah, I presume that Kaiseri will probably be relieved because it's a tiny little army. Um, let's put in a Orthodox church. Um, I don't really have any, like, blessings, stuff like that, of, like, the Pope. I may need to send the army back to Trebizond, but if they do the same thing that they did at the other place and they just attack, just randomly, then that's fine. Um... What can a fort provide? It allows me to recruit or basically everything that I can recruit in Trebizond. So that's perfect. Um, Sinope, or however you say it, is not so happy. But it's only minus nine. We can sort that out. How come you're not very happy? Religious differences. Are you... Uh, well, it's been sorted out. We can put it in a tavern or something like that. That will help. But anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap up the episode there. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed. And if you want to see more Trebizond... Uh, conquering and moving on to Constantinople then please leave a like and subscribe and leave a comment if there's anything that you think I should uh, recommend I should do um, because it's always welcome and until next time uh, legionnaires bye for now